Hello, how are you? Are you having a happy Friday? Him sir. So, um, on November the 4th, I'm going to be participating in the Walk to Defeat ALS. That is one of many walks that the ALS um, Association, the Golden West chapter, put on uh, in the month of October. They have loads of walks. They call it Walk Tober. Very nice name, isn't it? And um, and this is just one of them. Uh, it will be in Exposition Park, November the fourth. If you want to be surrounded by really good people, hopefully the weather's going to be great. If it isn't, then we're going to be great still. Um, and it is just with a view to um, garnering more public awareness with regards to this horrible disease. Um, it is this is the reason why I'm wearing this hoodie the ALS Association Golden West Chapter badge that uh, Lark's Head and I uh, created and the funds go to the the ALS Association uh, and uh, you know combining its efforts to um, sort of like with the uh, the ALS bucket challenge just you know making people more aware or just bolstering that kind of public awareness uh, just earlier this week I'm going to post some other pictures and maybe some video of my visit uh, to see Justin Ichida and his team, Dr. Justin Ichida, at the uh, Eli and Edith Broad CIRM Center for Regenerative Medicine and Stem Cell Research at USC. And they do an incredible job just in terms of compiling data, skin cells, and um, really looking into doing a, just doing a fantastic job to try and find out more and using potential medicine to um, fight the disease. So, and, and then what um, Mickey does is um, she uses a machine like this, this white one here. It basically will just take um, 96 different chemicals from uh, either known approved drugs for other indications or, or drugs that are not yet approved for anything and put, applies one to each well. And uh, she'll um, explain the rest. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, my specific proteins, right? Mm -hmm. But what we're able to do now is we have we can target specific proteins, but now we can do it in the environment of a cell of a patient that actually has the disease, and not just if the cells that they were using before were oftentimes the cells of uh, cancer patients because they were the only things that were survived outside the body, you know? So, like, each time there was a technology, there was a boost, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that right now, um, we have this really fantastic technology that we can actually test multiple patients, whereas before they would have one or two cell lines, right? Mm -hmm. And they had, you know, sticks and, you know, dirt, you know? Not that it didn't work, right? But now we have even more defined tools, and I think the technology will get better and better, but we'll have more will allow us to go faster as well. So, at least that's the hope. You know? it's, it's, yeah, it's a really good point. It's basically, we, we did this big screen that I told you about on this type called C9 ALS. Mm -hmm. 